Hello French horn players. So today we're going to work on getting our chops back up, really working to make sure that we have the skills to be able to hit the higher notes and maintain them for this year. Um, we worked our way up to a high D last year and we were getting comfortable there, but now we're going to open it up so we're going to be able to play other scales. We need to hit all the way up to a high F, G, and A to be comfortable with that. Uh, it's going to take me some time to get there, but we're going to do that by going through a bunch of travel and working exercises that you can do with your instrument, with just your mouthpiece, and then with just your face. So starting at the very basics again, French horn on the ground. No, your F is right here. You're going to take your lips, purse them together in the middle, pull the corners real tight, and make the buzz. <laughs> Right? Now you know how to do that, so I'm not going to specifically break down the sections if you have trouble with that. I can send you the video for the 6th graders that really explains the how to make the face for the buzz. If you're struggling with it, start loose-lipped and get tighter. But try specifically to hit that F. This is where it's going to get interesting, because you're able to actually play the scale just with your lips if you practice enough. You can actually change notes. So just that F, that middle. Once you've got that, put on a metronome. Four beats of it. Four beats rest. That's hard to do. Once you've got that, mouthpiece. You'll notice the longer you spend without the mouthpiece, the easier it is to do it with it. Right? Four beats on, four beats off. F. Buzz right here. Just on that note, to get your lips warmed up, do a couple times of that, and then play your scale, just with your lips. You're not going to be able to do this during the first week, but I want to see how far you can get. Starting on your F, you're going to go. Two, up to G. take some time. But doing that is really going to help expand your range. You'll notice the second you get it on your mouthpiece, it'll be super easy on the horn. You can do it in quarter notes if you get bored. A little harder. Right? Eventually you'll work your way up to eighth notes. Just lip slurs. That'll take some time. But just work with the whole notes this week. You're then going to pick up your instrument. See how far I got off of that F. I was a little sharp without it, but now we're here. 
Tone Tuner. Make sure we are in tune. <laughs> scale. This is where we ended last year. One, two, ready. for it. Six, seven. All right. So that is where we're going to start. I want to see how you went over the summer. I want to see what kind of practice is happening. First two or three minutes of practice, just your lips, the metronome. Try to maintain a buzz. Try to make it be F. Try to do four beats on, four beats off. That gets your lips awake. Do the same thing with the mouthpiece. Four beats on, four beats off. Try to do the major scale with the mouthpiece. Four beats on, four beats off. And finally, with your horn, eight beats on, eight beats off, 60 beats per minute. What I would like to see in your recording is your mouthpiece, four beats on, on F, all the way up to high F. Try to do the major scale. And I would also like to see eight beats on, eight beats off, right? Eight beats on, eight beats off, 60 beats per minute with a metronome. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll talk to you soon.